And we back. It's Vach Lombardi, Lombardicus Prime. We're here with the beginning of film season. Uh, Derek Brown's going to be our first one for uh, for 2020. So everybody tune in, grab your snack, and let's talk about this. He is our defensive tackle here from Auburn. Uh, he's the A-gap player right now, but he plays in B-gap. He plays in C-gap. He lines up four eyes sometimes, head up on the tackle. So, uh, you know, Auburn likes to move him around. In my personal opinion, I think he's going to be a full-time three-tech when he goes to the National Football League. If you're a 3-4 team, you know, you can possibly do some two-gap with him, uh, playing him at at end but i think he really makes babies moving forward being aggressive being powerful being quick for a big guy and i think that just screams three tech in a um in a four three defense here i watched about four games of him and as you can just see he's the a gap guy right here he he runs through people he wins via talent right so if you're a team drafting him he comes fresh out the box ready to whoop people you know like he there are some some things that he could work on we're going to talk about that a little bit later uh but as of now you just get a guy that's ready to just flat out smoke people um and of course college is going to do college things and play them all over the offensive line i don't really all over the defensive line pardon me i don't really like him being double teamed but when he played against lsu he was beating the hell out of double teams he was making plays in the run uh i think his quick for a big guyness okay <laughs> yeah Y'all just hashtag that in the chat box real fast. His quick for a big guy miss. Um, I think that allows him to to give you value in the pass rush and you know his whole power side. Um, you know that that makes him valuable in the run game. It just makes him valuable everywhere. And he's a playmaker. Like he he puts all those all those things together. And um, you know he makes plays there. Now nah, he got caught from behind. Like I say, he ain't a super fast guy. He's not one of these uh, transcending athletes that's three fifty that's gonna run like a four five forty. I don't think he's that guy but then again combine nerds could prove me wrong with that but um he is quick and he is powerful uh his ball get off is really is 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 really nice too and i think all that uh kind of pairs in with his with his power really well because what happens is he comes off the ball so fast and if you're not ready take a look at him in, in b gap here he can he can come off the ball quickly and if you ain't ready he's gonna get hands inside him and put that power on you Derek brown really makes victims uh, by using his quickness for a big guy, because that's very important, using his quickness for a big guy and using uh, his power. Take a look at him here. He's going to, um, he's going to, uh, I guess the whole Auburn D-line got some movement up front. Yes, everybody's going to slant to the right, but look at how fast he gets from this four to a gap. You know what I'm saying? And if you the center, you probably wasn't ready for that. And I think a big reason why this center got beat was because Derrick Brown got on him faster than he expected him to right this wasn't just flat out power this was hey i'm gonna get to my landmark y you probably wasn't ready but then i'm gonna be powerful when i get there uh he doesn't have this big um this big tool belt full of moves you know like i said he mostly wins off off talent you know being powerful or being quicker but what happens is he has this 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 slap move and he can transition power and speed with it okay let's just uh, show it right here he's lined up over the right guard right here um and he 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 he's he's gonna slap with his left or his right hand to propel him to whatever side whatever gap that he's working to get to right and he could do it one of two ways this is one way this is one way where he can quick slap and just to use his quickness to get to the outside right or he can do more of a power slap take a look at him he's on the offenses uh left here he's he's a four eye right now that's why i meant by four eyes head up on the tackle inside he's going to use more of a power slap you see see that see that right hand putting their work right there he's going to come off the ball and that right hand is really going to dig into that tackle he's really going to get a good push there then he's going to get some of that speed and turn that corner on the outside now he turned this corner at defensive end cool does that mean he's a bendy defensive end no he could probably play some d in in a pinch i wouldn't do it if i were you um he can definitely play three four in i wouldn't do it if i were you but he was able to have bend here because his slap his power slap was successful check out your boy Derek brown right here this is the play of the film right here man you got to watch this in silencio my guy check this out Derek brown lined up in b gap here He's going to get the daggum strip sack, okay? But he's going to strip sack the ball into his hands and create the turnover, bro. That's fantastic. Now, he gets caught again. <laughs> he gets caught again. And mind you, this is his second 
his second turnover in the Florida game in the uh, the previous clip I showed you, he picked up a fumble. This time he's he's going to cause the fumble via sack. Look how he picked this kid up. Like like he picked he picked up the kid and put him in the grocery cart. Like come on, little man, let's go ride around the store in the gro. He picked him up. Look at him just, <laughs> just to get the sack on the back end. And um, hey man, fantastic play here from Derrick Brown. But let's talk about some things that I noticed. My cable bill was way too high. I reached out to AffordableSticks.com. They sent me a fire stick, plugged that thing into the HDMI. Now I get unlimited shows, movies, and live TV. I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a fire stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's AffordableSticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. Cut the cord, man. And this is what I noticed, okay? Now, this ain't going to be an Alabama film session. This ain't about number 65. But I want everybody to keep eyes on number 65 here. We're talking about Derrick Brown. But if you find the right guard number 65, you will easily find Brown because 65 beat the hell out of Derrick Brown all day. Consistently. All day. He took his chain. He took his bike. He took money out of his pocket to go to the store and get a 40. It, it, it was just, I would love to say that it was just a good battle. And I've done a little bit of research. 65 is a good player. Okay. 65, a good player. So I don't want to sleep there, but it was pretty one-sided what 65 was able to do to Derrick Brown. I just want everybody, to, every play that we have here, find the right guard and just see what he does to Derrick Brown. Look at this. Look at this big, scary Derrick Brown and 65 is getting hands inside. He's popping those feet. He's giving ground slowly and he basically neutralized Derrick Brown. I looked at the stats and they um, so Derrick Brown's lined up at, at zero right here. Pretty good reach block by the center. He's going to take him out the game. Uh, what happened here? Derrick Brown is where he's at. He's lined up in, <clears throat> in B gap right here. They just going to get him about the paint deadly. That's a goal line play too. What about this play? He's lined up head up over the right guard. Combo, movement, got him up out of there. RPO type of stuff, but either way, Derrick Brown was eliminated. He was um, taken out of the play. He's going to uh, be in B-gap again. It's just going to be a one-on-one -on -one waterfall block. Fantastic feat here by your right guard. And we just want to seal off this, this backside. That's, that's what the right side is doing. Um, there should be movement front side to hook. Yeah, okay, cool. We're going to get movement to front side, hook those guys, and these guys are, are, are just waterfalling. They're just creating this wall so nobody um, hits uh, Justin Herbert from behind. And, hey, Derrick Brown got caught up in that waterfall, man. He got <laughs> he got caught up in that wall, bro. Um, so what does this mean for Derrick Brown? Is this me saying that he's a terrible player? Is this me saying that he's only able to <laughs> – and that's Derrick Brown <laughs> – Hey, look, hey, look, look, the police showed up. That's him pointing out Debo. He, he's right there, officer. He's wearing 65 with the crimson helmet. He's, he's right there. <laughs> I shouldn't do Derrick Brown like this. Um, do I like Derrick Brown? I do. I like him as a football player. Um, you know, we just kind of got to have these conversations. We got to be thorough like this so we really understand what we're what we're getting into. You know, um, is he a Jonathan Allen type? Is he a Quentin Williams type? Is he more of a Christian Wilkins type? I think he's more of a Christian Wilkins type. And that's fine because Christian Wilkins is still a first round player. Um, he's still a, 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 a good college player. We got to see him develop a little bit. I'm talking about Christian Wilkins right now. He has to um, develop. He'll probably have a have a better second year uh, with the Dolphins. I think that's the same thing about Derrick Brown. Derrick Brown's pretty good right now. Just has the natural athletic ability, being powerful, being quick. Um, that slap move is nice. Naturally, he's he's ready to go right now, but he does have room to improve. You know what I mean? Uh, so I like him as a player, man. You know, we'll see what happens. But um, I know what everybody's asking. Hey, yo, Vach, where you drafting the map? I don't know. My cable bill was way too high. I reached out to AffordableSticks.com. They sent me a fire stick, plugged that thing into the HDMI. Now I get unlimited shows, movies, and live TV. I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a fire stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's AffordableSticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. Cut the cord, man. After canceling my cable, I saved $2,400 this year by switching to Beast TV through channelsforcheap.com. 
some people pay two hundred plus dollars a month. I paid one twenty a year, or you can go fifteen a month if that's what's convenient for you. You get twenty five hundred HD channels. A thousand of those are in English, and there are plenty of other international channels, TV guide, and we get all the sports. One of my favorite things is multi screen feature. So if I don't know what I want to watch, I can tune into four different channels at one time that you can watch on four different devices, and it's available on Fire Stick, smart TVs, tablets, and if you're on the go, you can watch TV on your phone. Hit the link in my description or go to channelsforcheap.com where you can get a free seven day trial. That's a whole week for you to just sit down and play with it and see what you like about it. Then come back and make a purchase. If you have any questions, go to channelsforcheap.com, hit this little button right here and they'll respond to you immediately. That is channels number four cheap.com. The link is in the description. I highly recommend it. Let's do it.